Hello, Craig Birch here with Kyle Williams, soon to challenge for the English Bantamweight title on Saturday. Keep getting this one. Is it June 7th or June 9th? June the 9th. June the 9th. Saturday, June the 9th. And it's at Starworks in Wolverhampton. Star Wars. New, new venue in Wolverhampton. New challenger to the English title scene. Lots to get excited about, I imagine. Massive. I mean, bringing um, big time back to Baltimore, Wolverhampton is a massive honour, really. To be headlining at Wolverhampton is a dream come true, really. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great night of boxing. A big night for, for the local talent as well. There's not just myself that's on the card, it's from Wolverhampton. There's uh, Lauren and there's An Anthony as well. Yeah, Anthony Wu, yeah. So, so, you know, there's uh, plenty of talent on the, sh on the show, so looking forward to it. Of course, of course, of course. And obviously, English tight, Bantam weight tight fight against the champion, Thomas Asombo. Excellent body puncher. Stop Louis Norwood, I know you've sparred with before in a few rounds and he's, uh, he's not, he's not, he's not he's no easy fight by any means. No, 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 you can't overlook him. I mean, the guy's been to the Olympics twice. He's um, very well experienced. He's been in with the best. He's only lost to Paddy Barnes and Jay Harris, who are uh, you know, uh, good lads. And let's be honest, Louis Norman, he's, he's a very talented lad, so a uh, very experienced lad. So it's not going to be an easy night to work, but there's one that, it's one that we're still comfortable confident will do. We'll have the right game plan. Uh, the team around me are, have put a tremendous game plan forward, and, and we're working towards it every single day. Of course, of course. When you found out it was Thomas and Solomon, what did you think? The opponent. Uh, um, bear in mind, you won the, the Midlands Bantamweight against the guy you beat before. I suppose it was maybe a little bit difficult to get up for that, knowing probably knowing he was going to win. You know what? Every, you're, not, you're only as good as your last performance. So um, you know, Jordan Turner was coming off a, la a good result from, the, from his from his from the fight after us. So you're only as good as your last performance. So I wanted to put in a, a great performance that night. Uh, Thomas Sanders coming off a great stoppage over Louis Norman. So uh, he'll be full of confidence. But as I've said. He's got to come and beat me. I know he's the champion, but my mindset is I'm going to concentrate on me. I'm not concentrate about him. I'm worried about him. I'm worried about that I've got to perform. So he's got to come and beat me. Yeah. yeah a bit of deja vu for yourself as well. We talked about it earlier as well, didn't we? That you were uh, on social media, it popped up this week when you won the World Kickboxing title. You saw a lot of similarities with that podium, Thomas Asombra as well. Didn't you? Yeah, I mean, when I fought for the World Title, the, 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 the lad was from Germany. He was uh, very stocky, very big. Outweighed me by massive on the day, which I'm expecting Thomas Asombra to do as well. Um, very big puncher. I think his record was like something like 27 knockouts out of 33 fights. Um, so I'm expecting, again, someone like that. I've showed already that there's levels to my game. I can fight on the inside, I can fight long, I can dance. So I'm going to have to pull out everything in this fight, be smart, know when to fight and when not to fight. And if I, if I stick to my game plan, it'll, it'll, it'll come off, it'll be a tremendous night. Confident you'll win and win well on the night? Of course, you know, if you, if, you, if you don't believe in yourself, then what are you getting in the ring for? I believe I'll win on winning, winning style. Do I believe it'll be an easy fight? 100% not. Um, but, you know, I believe I'll win. Yeah, you, t you told us all at the start you were going to challenge for big titles and challenge quickly and uh, after a frustrating few months last year waiting for that area title shot, it's now coming to pass. Well, to be fair, I made a prediction of, uh, I think, before the, the Dentin show got pushed back that I'd fight for the British title by the end of the year. Um, yeah, you win, you win in June, it, it you never know. You never know what comes up. I mean, that's the, this fight's for the English title and the Commonwealth uh, Eliminator. You don't know what's around the corner, you don't know what, what, what's going to come to your table and what's going to be offered. But, BCB are putting on tremendous fights at the moment, so yeah. you don't know what's around the corner. So I've got to stay sharp, I've got to stay ready, I've got to win my next, I can't look past this fight. Thomas and Summer is the, the champion and I've got, I can't, can't think about what's down in the future. But I do believe I'm going all the way. Yeah, yeah, talking about tremendous fights, Tommy Langford, Jason Wellborn, new British champion, Jason Wellborn. That was a, that's the last big main event ahead of yours. I mean, you've got big, big boots to fill after that to, to, to match that sort of 50-50. You know what, it's course. great for the gym. I mean, I'm training alongside, uh, alongside Jason Wellborn and uh, seeing him get off this fight. We've been on the runs together. We've been on the bags together. We've been, you know, I've been watching him spy. I've been watching me spy. So seeing someone push themselves to them heights to fight for a British title, he's only pushing me on. There's going to be a massive buzz in the gym now. Yes. There's going to be a massive, massive buzz. There's a lot of things happening with inside BCB at the moment. I'm fighting for the English. Jason Wellborn's just won the British. Zach Parker's on a massive card um, on the Groves. Um, Callum Smith on the card. Uh, Lennox is fighting for the English title against da Danny Williams. Daryl Williams. Daryl Williams, sorry. So, you know, the gym is absolutely flying. 
So I think this result tonight that uh, Jason's just got, he's only going to push the gym on the wall. It's definitely inspired me to put in a, a great performance on June the night. Excellent, fantastic. Carl, thanks very much for your time. Really looking forward to watching that in this time fight. Wish you all the very best on fight night. I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much.